These tourists thought they were going on an exciting sightseeing trip through the Louisiana swamps, but they were about to get a big surprise, one that would give them way more than they bargained for. This giant crocodile smashed its body against the boat out of nowhere and gave everyone a serious fright. But then they discover the sad reason behind this behavior. It was a humid, torrid morning, ripe with the fragrance of the Louisiana bayou. The dense green marshland unfolded beneath the early morning mist. Birds sang, unseen, while the buzzing of insects filled the air. A handful of people huddled together on the dock, assembled from all walks of life. Yet, they were united by a singular and exciting purpose. They were there to explore and capture the unseen treasures of the swamp through the lens of their cameras. Simon, a stout man with a weathered face, squinted into the sun as he ran his boat, aptly named Swamp Serenade, alongside the jetty. He was the group's guide, a seasoned Bayou native, hardened and tanned from years under the relentless Louisiana sun. Morning, folks, Simon greeted, a warm smile cut across his rugged face. Hope you're ready to experience the beauty of the swamps. Please keep your cameras ready and your limbs inside the boat at all times. There was a gentle note of warning behind the friendly demeanor, which sent a ripple of nervous excitement through the group. The journey started serenely, a gentle cruise through moss-laden trees and muddy waters. The tourists looked on in awe, their cameras clicking and whirring, capturing the exotic flora and fauna that thrived in this watery wilderness. Herons, ospreys, and even a few eagles dotted the treetops, preening their feathers in the soft light of dawn. An alligator snapping turtle eyed the boat suspiciously from the bank. It was mesmerizing. Halfway through the trip, they entered the heart of the swamp. Simon cut the boat's engine, the sudden silence only disturbed by the distant rustle of reeds and the lapping of water against the hull. A sense of anticipation hung in the air as the tourists steadied their cameras, fingers ready on the triggers. Simon pointed to a patch of water that shimmered in the sunlight. There, he whispered. The water rippled, signaling the approach of something formidable. A gasp swept through the boat as a colossal crocodile emerged, its scaly body shimmering in the sunlight as it floated languidly, fixated on the intruding vessel. Jane, an eager photographer, leaned over for a closer shot. Heart pounding, she zoomed in, capturing the crocodile's intricate details, its gnarled scales, lethal jaw, and ancient calculating eyes. Mind the distance, Jane, Simon cautioned, his gaze fixed on the creature. The tourists, hushed and mesmerized, snapped photos in a mix of fear and admiration. The crocodile, indifferent to the attention, submerged again, leaving a lingering ripple. Exhaling collectively, the group resumed chatter, but the tension lingered. As the journey continued, they marveled at swamp sights, from turtles to herons. But the crocodile wasn't done. As the sun dipped, Simon guided the boat into denser foliage, excitement tinged with fatigue. Suddenly, he pointed ahead. Look there. Eyes followed his gesture to a distant silhouette, slowly taking shape. The crocodile. Its massive form emerged in the waning light, igniting a mix of excitement and unease. Simon's demeanor shifted, sensing the unusual behavior. The tourists watched, smartphones poised, as the crocodile approached with unsettling intent. Simon's caution heightened the tension. As it surged towards them, screams erupted, the boat rocked, and then... Silence. The crocodile vanished beneath the surface, leaving behind a shocked, relieved group. But their calm was short-lived. With a mighty leap, it surged from the depths, crashing into the boat, sending shockwaves through the passengers. Cameras and phones slipped, forgotten as the boat steadied, leaving everyone shaken. Simon, regaining composure, glanced at the calm water, now eerie in the crocodile's absence. With a sigh, he restarted the engine, forcing a smile. Enough excitement for one day, he said. Weak chuckles followed, but tension lingered as they headed for the dock. The journey wasn't over. As they navigated, a mix of exhilaration and dread filled the tourists. Behind them, the swamp stirred again, the crocodile reappearing. This time, it surfaced alongside, slamming into the boat multiple times, redirecting it toward unfamiliar waters. Simon warned of the danger, scanning for a safe route. 
but the persistent crocodile blocked their every attempt. The creature's behavior puzzled Simon. Could it be trying to communicate? Despite skepticism, he shared his theory, sparking hope among the passengers. Trusting his instincts, Simon decided to follow the crocodile's lead, despite murmurs of uncertainty. It was risky, but they had no choice. Slowing the engine, they let the crocodile lead them through the dark waters. Surrounded by the sounds of the swamp, they ventured deeper, navigating through towering cypress trees and Spanish moss. Fireflies illuminated the evening sky as they reached a moonlit clearing. The crocodile halted, and Simon cut the engine. An eerie silence fell as tiny shapes emerged from the water, baby crocodiles, glimmering in the darkness. The tourists were spellbound by the sight, but Simon sensed something amiss. He spotted fallen trees and smoke, indicating a fire in the usually wet swamp. Explaining the situation, he leaped from the boat, heading towards the flames. As he approached, the mother crocodile remained calm, watching him intently. Simon reached the burning logs, where he found a trapped baby crocodile, its fear palpable. It was a heart-wrenching sight, the tiny reptile struggling amidst the flames. Simon's heart sank at the sight, but he knew they couldn't just stand by and watch. A plan began to form. It was simple, yet risky. He rushed back to the boat. He quickly explained the situation, his voice filled with determination. The boat had to be used as a ram to dislodge the burning logs on the western side, where the water still lapped at the shores. With Simon back at the helm, the boat lurched into action, propelled by the strong revs of the engine. The tourists held their breaths, clutching their seats tightly as the boat shot towards the smoky patch of fallen trees. There was a sudden impact, followed by the sickening crunch of wood. Water splashed over the sides, filling the boat as it rocked dangerously. They tried once, twice, thrice, four times, each attempt bringing them closer to sinking, their hearts pounding in their chests. But with every attempt, their courage grew, fueled by hope and desperation. On their fifth attempt, the sound of splitting wood echoed through the bayou, a sweet sound of victory. The logs had split, falling away and clearing the way for the baby crocodile. The crocodile quickly scurried away from the smoky pile and swam of into freedom. A collective sigh of relief washed over the group, their smiles reflecting the joy of their successful rescue mission. Despite the terrifying ordeal, they had not only survived an encounter with the gigantic crocodile, but also saved one of its young ones from a fiery end. The baby immediately darted towards the safety of the water joining its siblings. A profound sense of relief washed over the group as they cheered. Simon couldn't help but grin, even as he wiped the sweat from his brow. They had managed to rescue a baby crocodile from a certain fiery doom, not an everyday occurrence, even for a seasoned swamp guide. The mother crocodile watched as her baby happily joined the other babies. Then it turned her gaze towards Simon and his boat. There was a palpable sense of gratitude in her gaze that filled the air. She dipped back into the water, leaving only her eyes visible above the surface. The boat started moving again, heading back towards the familiar waters. Their journey back was quiet but content, each of them mulling over the unforgettable adventure they had just experienced. Simon, the Bayou veteran, realized that this was a story he would be telling for a very long time. As they neared the dock, the tourists turned their cameras towards the setting sun, capturing their last moments in the swamp that had gifted them an adventure of a lifetime.